What's up, everybody? Red Thorn here from Red Thorns Gaming, coming at you with Lineage 2 Revolution Fortress Siege. All right, so a few things before we begin. One, I'd like to give a shout out to everybody who took part in the poll on my Discord server, letting me know which of these two battles that were real, which one they wanted me to record. So thank you for that. Number two, I would like to apologize to Eternal and Enigma. In yesterday's video, I had said that they, it wasn't worth watching because I believed that they were in the same alliance and it was going to be a handover or a bid block. Completely wrong on that. Eternal is in Heaven, Enigma is in the Alliance Alliance. They are actually going head to head in a real fight. So my apologies for that and good luck to both of those clans for their B-grade fortress that they are fighting for. And lastly, I want to make a very special apology to Nasilla, whom in Discord I pretty much called her crazy for the things that she said and it turned out that she was absolutely correct on everything that she had said and I was the one who was completely out of my mind. So I'm sorry, Nasilla. Please accept my apology. Let's get on with the video. All right, we have Fortress Siege. Here we go. And ranking, combat, well, clan combat power. Relentless versus Stark Industries. Relentless are the attackers, Stark Industries are the defenders. We are looking at a little under 10 million combat power difference between Relentless and SI. But hey, we all know CP means nothing. Relentless, Stark Industries. Let's see what they paid. Battlefield, Fortress Siege. Here is A grade. Relentless, nice even 80 million. Winning the right to challenge Stark Industries for this A grade fortress. Let us go into the battlefield. And Stark Industries in the blue. Defenders on the top. Looking for their leader. Oh, there we go. Aralim, a Temple Knight, female elf tank. Good choice. For Fortress Siege, Open Siege, Castle Siege, they pop that invincibility, they get three or four seconds of time. It's too easy. Let's head on down to Relentless, the attackers whom we will be following. Good luck to Relentless and good luck to Stark Industries. Looking for that crown. We have one minute and 30 seconds. Nothing here, maybe they're not in yet. Doesn't matter. 60 seconds before we begin. And there is Relentless's leader, Korean. Looks like a tank, human tank. Also a good choice though. We're gonna start over here on their non-spawn side. 30 seconds before we begin. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fortress Siege, I believe this is number 24 or 25. It's one of, the, one of those two. Stark Industries versus Relentless. Relentless is already trying to get their altar imprint and try to get Stark Industries interrupted on both. Big battle going on around here. Somewhat near the non-spawn gate of Relentless. Stark Industries trying to get their altar imprint. They are halfway through. Doing a good job of preventing Relentless from getting their own. Stark Industries, two seconds, one second. They've gotten a 10% buff. Relentless is now trying to get their own altar imprint. Relentless over halfway. Where is Stark Industries? There they are, interrupting them. Good job. Stark Industries proving it doesn't matter how much combat power you have. Relentless unable to get their own altar imprint. Stark Industries, 2 minutes, 20 seconds left on theirs. And here comes Stark Industries, surrounding this altar, impr uh, altar imprint of Relentlesses and taking it, but interrupted. Trying again. They've got a lot of blue here, but they were interrupted, unable to stop Relentless from stopping them. See how these gates are looking. Looks like we got a fight going on up here. Nope. The 
all gates are looking healthy. Big battle going on for this 30% or the tie at 10%. And then this interrupted again. We have 28 minutes left in this battle. A lot can happen in 28 minutes. A lot can happen in two minutes. And then this halfway there. Pushing Stark Industries back, but not able to complete that altar imprint. Let's try again, interrupt it again. I see, wow, all the towers are still standing. Up here in the upper right of your screen. And there's two seconds. Oh, interrupted with about one second left. Good job there, Stark Industries. Okay, finally they took a gate defensive tower. Oh, both defensive towers have been taken down. Good job by Stark Industries to take the non-spawn gate of Relentless down. And they continue to interrupt Relentless from getting their Alter Imprint, but they only have 37 seconds left on their own Alter Imprint. Interrupting Relentless again. Stark Industries, 20 seconds before their 10% buff is gone. We're gonna have to pull back. This may give some breathing room to Relentless. Relentless trying again, trying again, trying again, unable to get anything. Stark Industries. Five seconds left under 10% buff. And theirs is ready to be imprinted and they have begun doing so. Relentless for being almost 9 million CP above them. Yeah, you're not doing too well right now, I'm telling you that. Relentless trying. Stark Industries, one second. Got their 10% buff. Relentless over halfway there, but they're about to feel the pain. And they sure did. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Eli Sussman trying, go, trying for it. Interrupted with a meteor shower. Good job there, Stark Industries. Stark Industries now going for Relentlesses, but interrupted. Uh-oh, Relentless is getting some time here. 10 seconds before Relentless wins this battle. Snuck in the air out of nowhere. Are they able to stop him? Wow, he got a good 12 seconds at least. Not looking good for Stark Industries. Concentrating too hard on trying to get that 30% or stopping Relentless. That's a good 12 to 13 seconds Relentless just got. And they don't even have an Alter Imprint. Stark Industries needs to do something about that. They need to answer. All right, and it looks like they're trying to do just that. Looks like Erlen was taken out. It also looks like Death Sparkles is trying to attack Erlen. Erlen is just standing there. What is going on right here? Erlem's just standing there. Did he disconnect? Boy, that's not too good for Stark Industries. All right, he's finally disappeared. I wonder if he disconnected. Relentless. Three seconds. Two. Nope. Interrupted. Let's see here. Big battle going on around Relentless's altar imprint. Both non-spawn gates have been taken down. And the Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Stark Industries has been taken down. That'll give Relentless more time to get some Ultra uh, Holy Artifact imprint time. Relentless, two seconds, one second. Finally, they get the 10% buff, and Stark Industries only has 20 seconds left on their own Ultra imprint. Stark Industries trying again. But die. Getting a little bit of time there that... Uh, Elven Tank can throw up that, that uh, invincibility and really rack up some time. 
Kind of reminding you of like uh, Open Siege. All they need to do now is just keep pushing Erlen down there to get more time and stop Relentless from getting time themselves. It looks like here, up here at the Holy Artifact of uh, Stark Industries, big battle going on. But the clan leader Relentless has died. Looks like we got a little turn of turn of uh, events here. Relentless is not allowing Stark Industries to get their altar imprint now. A lot of Relentless up here at Stark Industries Holy Artifact. And their second and remain final Holy Artifact Defense Tower is taking a beating from somebody over here. Stark Industries doing a good job pushing them back. And it looks like they have begun imprinting again. This defensive tower is about gone. Stock industry is still unable to get their 10% buff. And there goes, oh, but it looks like he was stunned and taken out. He tried to get some. I don't think he got anything on that. Stark Industries finally got their 10% buff. Relentless 50 seconds left on their own 10% buff. A lot going on right now. I think Relentless is ahead. Five, six seconds maybe at this point. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The red team's defense tower. Aaron Lim trying to get a little bit more time. 21 mi minutes left in this battle. Holy artifact defense tower of Relentless has been taken down. Aaron Lim is still standing here. And people look like they're still trying to attack. The clan leader. The altar of wind imprinting has been recently. It could be me. I'm probably experiencing some lag. It is raining and thunderstorming outside like a son of a gun right now. I'm doing the best that I can. Both holy artifact. Uh let's see what's going on here. Both the holy artifacts are more or less wide open for some imprinting time. Relentless over halfway. Trying to get their 10% buff. Tie this up. One second left and they have gotten it. I see some defenders on both sides here. Stark Industries needs to just send Erlen again and again and again. With some backup. Looks like there they are, and Heirloom has begun imprinting, but getting some time here. I've got, got a good two, three seconds there. 15 seconds remaining? Yeah, five seconds. I think, excuse me, at this point, we may be more or less tied. We'll see how hard. No, we don't want to go there. There's a big battle going on over here at the spawn gate of. Stark Industries. But that is not where the real action is. The real action is at the Holy Artifacts. As they are both open for imprinting. Here it comes. Oh, there, there goes Relentless. Ah, maybe two seconds on that. Stock Industries Alter Imprint is available, and they are not there to get it. But I do see a lot of red up there. Still big battle going on around Spawn Gate of Stark Industries. Relentless is taking Stark Industries now, going for that 30% buff. They're over halfway. 
Three seconds left. Oh, interrupted. Good job there by Stark Industries. And then there's one minute, 15 seconds left on their 10% buff. Let's head on up here. Big battle for that, that tie of 10% or big 30% buff. It's definitely what Relentless is going for. Stark Industries keeps trying and are interrupted multiple times. Paralim is down there again, getting some time, but no backup. Just basically doing an open siege right now. Going down there, getting whatever they can, trying again and again and again, trying to rack up that time, depending on their teammates to stop. There goes Batlin, putting some damage and hurt on the Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Of Stark Industries. And then there's less than 10 seconds left on their altar imprint trying for Stark Industries. This is a queen acting as a bodyguard for the Holy Artifact. The altar of wind imprinting has been reset. This is a good strategy though. They can, if Relentless can stack up here on, on the spawn side of Stark Industries, they can try to stop Erlim from ever getting down there. Both altars are ready for imprint. Relentless tried for both. And now they're trying to take Stark Industries, interrupted on both. Both teams trying for their own and interrupted. Stark Industries going for more Holy Artifact imprint time. That was a defense tower for the spawn gate. Of relentless 15 seconds so Aaron got another five seconds that's just, it's good for Stark Industries not good for relentless both teams still trying to get their altar imprint Stark Industries interrupted it at the halfway point Relentless halfway there almost there oh interrupted with about a second left And there goes the spawn gate of Relentless. Allowing for some additional strategy. And Erlen's back down here again. But has been killed. Stark Industries finally got their altar imprint and 10% buff. Back and forth, back and forth. We have 15 minutes halfway through this battle right now. I would say Stark Industries is probably ahead in Holy Artifact imprint time, the tiebreaker, should this go the distance to 30 minutes. Erlen trying for some more. Just popping that invincibility, going down there, getting two, three seconds every time. That's very devastating to Relentless. Looks like Stark Industries is not going to allow the leader of Relentless to sneak in and get another 12 seconds or so. Stark Industries, two minutes left on their 10% buff. Right now, Relentless is ahead in the kill department at 849 and counting. Stark Industries trying to catch up at 767 and counting. Stark Industries... Going for Relentlesses, interrupted. And a nice meteor shower right there. Yeah, I'm trying, let's see. I see a lot of red up here at Stark Industries, but no leader of Relentless is up here. Look at this, look at all these red up here. Look at all this red up here. I think these three that are not moving are dead. And the game hasn't caught up yet. Stark Industries getting more time. The blue team has failed to trying, trying, trying again. The blue team has started imprinting the holy Probably got about a half second, maybe. Team has failed to 
imprint the holy artifact. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has it's just non stop. Thirteen minutes left in this battle. I don't see, let's see, oh, big stuff going on up here at Stark Industries. Holy artifact. Look at this battle going on right here. Stark Industries managed to push him back, though. Stark Industries managed to get Relentless's Alter Imprint and is trying to go for the 30%. They had it for a little bit there. They are halfway through. What is Relentless doing? They are interrupting them. That is what they are doing. A lot of blue there down there, though. This is not looking good for the attacking team right now. Having lost their S-grade fortress last week. They are trying to redeem themselves. They are not doing very well at that right now. Stark Industries is having a difficult time trying to get that 30% buff. They are doing a great job of stopping the leader of Relentless from getting any time and trying to catch up. I think Stark Industries at this point with 11 minutes and 12 seconds left is probably a good 7 to 10 seconds ahead at this point is what I believe. I wish I could see. I really don't know. But they keep going down there with that Temple Knight. And getting more time. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. And Stark Industries is starting to catch up to Relentless to in kills. Wow, they're only like 50 apart. The blue team has started imprinting the holy Stark artifact. Industries trying again. It looks like Erlen has some, some backup. Going again, look at Erlem. Getting it all. No Relentless around there right now. Just stacking up that time. Oh! <laughs> Six seconds remaining. Was interrupted, but that's a huge amount of time right there. Erlem trying again. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. You're trying to defend Aaron Five seconds before Stark Industries wins this defensive battle. Oh, interrupted with four seconds left. Aaron trying again. Stark Industries way ahead in time for the tiebreaker right now. And they finally managed to kill Aaron. But can Relentless in the next nine minutes and 30 seconds catch up? I mean, how much time did the Aaron get? 20 plus seconds easily off of those attempts. Are they going to be able to catch up? I guess we'll find out. And there's Aerolim again, but there's too many red and not enough blue. But it doesn't matter. Aerolim fought through, getting more time, getting smacked around, probably popped an invincibility, and finally killed after it wore off. So Relentless got that one attempt with about for about 12 seconds or so, and they have not been able to get it since then. Not in any kind of major amount, like we just saw with Erlim. And it was told to me that Erlim was the highest combat-powered Temple Knight. Actually, isn't it an Eva's Templar? I think at the third class transfer. But the heirloom is the highest combat-powered female elf tank in our server here, Thalcus N3. 
Killed again, but managed to get him another second or so. Back at it, getting slapped around, nope. Sneaky sneaky though, I think they had the resurrection on and they didn't get up until they, they saw Red starting to move away, and then they got up. I don't know if you can actually do that or not though. Relentless is just completely disorganized right now. They are not even, they are focusing so much on these altars in that 10% or 30% buff, they're really not even trying to get Holy Artifact imprint time at this point. I don't think it's going to matter. There goes Aerolim again. Aerolim has just got these, these people here just completely discombobulated. Aerolim getting time. Five, five more seconds for Stark Industries. I mean, that's another, what, almost 10 seconds that Erlen got? I mean, they're probably 30 plus seconds ahead at, at this point. I think Relentless... I don't know. I'll give props to Relentless for continuing to try. As hopeless it may, as it may look right now. Relentless did manage to get their own altar imprint. If they can get this 30% buff, that may be the last <laughs> hurrah that they can attempt in this battle. Missing all the action up here. Let's go on up here. As Relentless is trying to get that 30% buff. Trying, interrupted, trying, interrupted. Stuck Industries, not allowing them. Interrupted it again. The attackers, one minute, 45 seconds left in their 10% buff. And here's a bunch of blue. That attempt was completely beat back. And Erlem is just going down there again and again and again and getting more and more time. And there is Relentless's leader trying, trying hard to get past this wall of Stark Industries to get some time. And just not able to do it. Great defensive effort by Stark Industries with less than five and a half minutes remaining. If Relentless can't do this, are we going to see them attempt a B-grade fortress next week? That would be pretty funny. There's Relentless's leader trying to get some time here. Doing so. Ah, you got a few seconds, nothing phenomenal there. Looks like he's trying to get more, but he's stunned. Meteor showered, knocked down, gets up, trying and finally killed. Less than five minutes remaining in this battle. Erlen getting more time. I mean, they must be. If there, it's thirty plus seconds at this point. There's no. There's really no point in even trying to guess. Shout out to Queen Josephine. Just no real solid attempt. Only that once in those, what, twice now? That they've made a solid attempt to get some Holy Artifact imprint time and just unable to do so. I see red all over the place. What is really going on here, Relentless? Stark Industries is just beating you down. They are keeping you from doing what you were trying to do. Relentless only 30 or so kills ahead of Stark Industries at this point. Stark Industries going for that 30% buff. Relentless just not able to mount anything right now. It could be that whole Temple Knight strategy. Eva's, Eva's Knight, whatever it's called. 
Here comes Aralim, getting more time. Just waltz right in there and just started getting time after popping invincibility. Ah, <laughs> all that Aralim still, still going, finally killed. Back up again, trying again. What was that, another five seconds? Look at this, trying again! Relentless just unable to stop this onslaught by Aralim. Killed again. But another 10 seconds or so added on that. Just more insult to injury. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for Relentless right now. But a good bat- Ugh, ooh. But a good battle going on throughout this fight. Stark Industries dominating, except in the guild department, which they are very quickly catching up to Relentless. But Stark Industries has dominated in every aspect of this battle. No doubt in my mind. From defense to offense. Stark Industries, 30% buff. Totally missed that. Relentless trying for some more time. They are too far behind. It's going to get to the point where they're just not going to be able to catch up. We're probably already at that point right now. Less than two minutes remaining. I think this battle is over at this point. I think Stark Industries has successfully defended their A Grey Fortress against Relentless. Uh, not good for Relentless. First losing their S grade. Now they can't get an A grade. I mean, B grade is next. If they can't get that, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Less than a minute and 30 seconds left in this battle. Stark Industries 30% buff is about to expire. Erlen coming from the other side now. Oh, that was too funny. Stark Industries, 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 2 seconds. I think Relentless at this point is pretty much given up. They are just not going to get through. Big battle going up here around the Holy Artifact of Stark Industries. It doesn't matter. I think Stark Industries is ahead by too much. The only way Relentless is going to win this is if they fully imprint the Holy Artifact. They need 20 seconds remaining in this battle to do that. There are 40 seconds remaining. Stark Industries... Stonewalling the hell out of them right now. I just don't see it happening. 30 seconds remaining in this battle. No way can Relentless catch up in Holy Artifact imprint time. And there is no way here at 20 seconds and counting for them to win this by Holy Artifact imprint. Congratulations to Stark Industries. I believe you have won this. 10 seconds remaining in this battle. We're about to find out though. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I think Aaron then went down there and did what he was supposed to do, for sure. Two seconds remaining, one second remaining. Congratulations to Stark Industries for successfully defending their A-grade fortress against Relentless, taking the first and second spots. Here are your stats. That was a textbook fight all around by Stark Industries. Tied for 19th, never seen that before. Look at this, three people on 19th. Outstanding. Great, great battle to watch. We are watching Relentless just not able to do anything throughout this battle. Lots of people in this. Always good to see that. Stark Industries was not full. Only 71 people participated in this battle. 71 out of a potential 100. That's 15 on both sides, more or less, that didn't show up. That could have been a huge difference between the two. Let's see if Enigma has successfully taken the Fortress away from Eternal. Congratulations to Enigma. Great job on that. Stark Industries, congratulations for defending. We've got nothing else going on here. Same old stuff. Somebody needs to go after this clan right here. They, they're next. Relentless is showing that they just can't get anything done right now. The new alliance, the new alliance, alliance should definitely make a fight out of that. I think that would be a phenomenal fight. Anybody versus Vismeyer. The stacking would be massive. And Vismeyer really doesn't have anybody to pull from other than Relentless and themselves. Maybe outside help. But that 
is, as they say, that, ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so! And come hang out with me. Facebook, Twitter, Discord. You'll find all my information down below in the description! Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.